Hello. Welcome back to Ghost Trick. Let's continue. Chapter 9, 11.13 p.m. Now I'm back in the present. It's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all of the cell bars opened automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lynn. I stopped the execution. But now that condemned criminal is now just as in, his, in just as much danger as before. Detective told, told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present, so here I am. The bell. Better go back. Goodness, someone flushed this his, his toilet. That was good timing. Oh man, I got voices mixed up. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first, I have to find him. It's prisoner C-74. Secure the prisoner. Looks like there are hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Joe. This is some true darkness. But luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. Huh? It's that red light. Hmm. Looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. There you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here, but how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of sausage head spoon and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. <laughs> anyway, it looks like this is time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? Oh, this could be interesting. Let's do this. So let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement's power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under the cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't worry about that, I have an idea. Let's just try it, and you'll see how it works. This detective like just likes to dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. So if I die again, we can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. 
I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So, it's all about staying out of the guards' line of sight, eh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what. I can sense your powers now. Be you what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this Joe icon here? Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you touch the Joe icon, I'll sense it. And I'll move to where you are. So, for example, If you move to that spoon and touch the Joe icon, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's plan our escape plan. Uh, making our, our escape plan. <laughs> Just be sure to guide me to safe spots, Sizzle. So that red light. Watch the light of the night vision goggles of one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guards are. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard moving, too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Oh, darn. He turned. I don't expect that. Silly me. If he enters the guard's field of vision, it's over. I have to watch for the movements of the red lights. The first thing to do is to take a good look around and check what the enemy is doing. For now, how about we just aim for going to the neighboring cell? We can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's take it slow. The guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights, and I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. If I recall correctly, I can use the D-pad to do the same thing. I did not intend on doing that. How will I do 
of this. I don't 100% remember, but I think I can go off what I what I do remember. What's this hole? Excuse me. Actually, I suppose you don't have to. I mean, you know. You know what I mean. I hope. In any case. Time for some amusing shenanigans. difficult to figure out or at least get the timing right Now I'm going to fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? Just a moment. I'm kind of, uh, 
starve for something, my sister is yelling at me. Um, uh, just a second. Well then, that was a riot. I had to go move a sliding door. Let's get back. So what do you think? Uh, I'd say if we've, uh, we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Sissel. The basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Ugh. Uh, we just made it. Question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. You better be kidding. I'm still a damn criminal, you know. I doubt anybody will me with those criminals. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister. She won't escape death row home if you're supposed to just report him to the justice minister. Is that it? <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I better run. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be nice. All right, Sissel. Until we meet again. So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lynn at this point. Oh my God, there is a chainsaw going on outside. Detective Joe was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. I'd really prefer so much random shit to happen around here. Well, it's not random. It's all part of some big plan my dad has, but I mean... Seriously. Detective Joe, until we meet again, came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Hello, this is... Sissel, are you there? Hello? Who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. Hey, wait a minute. Trace complete. escape plan had ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Dracula. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line, too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. But when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me. Cause now I found you, oh my man, I have 
to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean of your mind. There's a certain something between these two. Is it a warm something or is it cold? Whatever it is, it's immeasurably deep. I should probably see what Detective Joe does. Thanks for coming. I want to say good time. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, you lost me. Ah, uh, you know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game, is that it? I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting of yourself tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you about that. What? Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead at least. A lead? What is that? A long time ago, I gave Lynn something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lynn's apartment. And that's the only help I can give you right now. That man pointing the gun at you right now, they say he's your good friend. We were when we were in the detective division uh, together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation, the top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now, and that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat. For somebody looking to get to the promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who could promise it would promise a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake would be the end of the career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat, and he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his good shadows. Like send his good friend to the gallows, because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all, and that's why he has the gun pointed at me right now. Is your execution really the right thing to do? Oh, I had a fair trial. That's what was decided. No problem there. But still, this is the punishment that I should receive in order to bring a final close to the case and put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there. I... I was sentenced to death for the penalty... Uh, to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. I mean that's not all it was for. I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? It was ten years ago. I'll never forget. That day, I saved the life of a little girl. And I stole away the life of her. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be... Lynn? you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jode, are you gonna shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If 
my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I, I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is execution. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my friend. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Sissel, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Uh, everything's fine here? Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen is next door. Goodbye! Hmm, sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Ah, go help her out, would you, Sissel? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this, a pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hopes. And no corpse either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I can go find better go find it. I'll follow the path Detective Joe pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office where they went to try to stop the execution. Also a relatively short part. Well then, what has happened at the Justice Minister's office? Did Lynn... Perhaps stall the execution? We'll find out next time in Ghost Trick. See ya!